Now, Donald Trump is set to testify on November 6th at his New York civil fraud trial and the former U.S. president will follow his three eldest children to the witness stand in a case that threatens to disrupt their family's real estate empire. It was already expected that Trump and his sons Donald, uh, Donald Jr. and Eric would testify and now Judge Arthur has ruled that daughter Ivanka Trump must also take the stand rejecting her bid to avoid testifying. Now, this development comes after Ivanka Trump was dismissed as a defendant months ago. Defense attorneys and her lawyer contended that she shouldn't have to testify as she moved out of New York and left her Trump organization job in 2017. However, the state's lawyers argued that Ivanka Trump was a key participant in some events discussed in the case and remains financially and professionally involved with the family business and its leaders. The state lawyers further claim that the Trump Organization and its staff also have bought insurance for Ivanka Trump and her businesses, managed her household staff and credit card bills and rented her apartment and paid her legal fees. Now the schedule sets up a blockbuster stretch in the trial of New York Attorney General where she alleges that the former president overstated his wealth for years on financial statements that were given to banks, insurers and others to help secure loans and deals. Now, Trump, his businesses and his two adult sons were accused of inflating assets by as much as $1.9 billion to $3.6 billion per year between 2011 and 2021 to save hundreds of millions of dollars in loans and insurance. Trump denies any wrongdoing and has called the trial a politically motivated sham. The case could strip Trump of some of his corporate holdings and marquee properties such as Trump Tower. Now for more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report from New York. Take a look. The ruling means that Ivanka Trump will likely have to take the stand and testify about her family and their business empire. And while the judge on Friday quashed a subpoena for Ivanka to take the stand, he did give her and her lawyers until November 1st, possibly to appeal this decision. However, back in June, Ivanka's case was dismissed uh, by an appeals court in New York on the basis that her testimony wouldn't be relevant or timely considering the fact that she left the Trump organization in 2017 to serve alongside her father at the White House. Nonetheless, Letitia James says that Ivanka's testimony is detrimental because she knows too much about the Trump organization and has, quote unquote, personal knowledge. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One.